Have you ever wondered how organic raspberries are harvested or how to prepare your garden for winter? Well, you're in for a treat. Today, we're going to explore these two fascinating subjects, the harvesting of organic raspberries and winter preparation for your garden. Imagine the sweet, tangy flavor of a raspberry plucked fresh from the vine, its vibrant color a testament to its organic upbringing. This fruit, so simple yet so delightful, is a product of careful cultivation and organic farming. Organic farming, a practice that respects our earth and nurtures it, yields fruits that are not only tastier but also healthier. Now, picture your garden, a haven of greenery, preparing for a long winter slumber. Winter prep is not just about protecting your plants from the cold, it's also about giving your garden a head start for the next growing season. A well-prepared garden can bounce back with vigor when spring arrives, rewarding you with a lush, vibrant landscape. So come along on this journey of discovery and learning. Let us uncover the secrets of organic raspberry harvesting and learn how to tuck our gardens in for the winter. Stay tuned as we delve into the step-by-step -step process of harvesting organic raspberries and preparing your garden for winter. Harvesting organic raspberries requires patience, precision, and proper technique. The journey to a bowl of ripe, juicy, and organic raspberries begins with understanding the right timing. You see, it's all about patience. Raspberries won't rush to the finish line. They take their sweet time to reach their peak of perfection. Usually, the ideal time to harvest these gems is in the mid to late summer, when the sun has worked its magic and the berries are a vibrant shade of red. Now, on to precision. Can you tell a ripe raspberry from an underripe one? Ripe raspberries are fully colored, plump, and come off the central plug easily. They are also slightly soft to the touch. If you find yourself pulling or tugging, chances are the raspberry isn't ready yet. Remember, we're looking for a gentle twist of the wrist, and the raspberry should come right off in your hand. Next, let's talk about technique. The right technique is crucial to avoid damaging the delicate fruit or the plant. When picking, handle the berry lightly and roll it off the plant between your thumb and index finger. Treat them like little treasures, because, well, they are. And of course, we can't forget about the importance of organic farming. Avoiding pesticides is not just about keeping the berries safe for consumption, but it's also about protecting the environment. Organic farming maintains biodiversity, promotes healthy soil, and supports the overall well-being of our planet. So there you have it. The right timing, the signs of ripeness, the gentle picking technique, and the commitment to organic farming. All these elements come together in the process of harvesting organic raspberries. And that, my friends, is how you harvest organic raspberries. Winter can be harsh on your garden, but with proper preparation, you can ensure your plants survive and thrive. As the chill in the air grows stronger and the days grow shorter, it's time to start thinking about winterizing your garden. The first step is a good cleanup. Clear out any fallen leaves, spent blooms, and rotting fruit. These can harbor disease and pests that could wreak havoc on your garden next year. A tidy garden is a healthy garden, and this is your first line of defense against winter damage. Next, consider adding compost to your soil. This is a great time to enrich your garden with nutrients that will feed your plants through the cold months and prepare them for a bountiful spring. Compost improves soil structure, enhances its ability to hold water and nutrients, and introduces beneficial microorganisms. It's like giving your garden a hearty winter meal. But let's not forget about frost, the silent killer of many a garden. Frost can damage or even kill plants, especially those that are not hardy. But fear not, there are measures you can take to protect your plants. Mulch acts as an insulator, shielding plants from drastic temperature changes. You can also use frost cloths or even old bed sheets to cover delicate plants when frost is forecasted. Remember, every garden is unique, so what works for your neighbor might not work for you. It's all about understanding your garden's needs and meeting them. With the right preparation, you can help your garden not just survive, but thrive through the winter. So now you know how to prepare your garden for the winter months. Armed with this knowledge, you're ready to give your garden the care it needs to weather the cold. Here's to a garden full of life and color. Come spring. Let's recap the key points of harvesting organic raspberries. 
As you may recall, the process begins with timing. Knowing when to pick your organic raspberries is paramount. The fruit should be fully ripe, but not overripe, with a deep red color and a plump, firm texture. It should easily come off the vine when lightly tugged, but if it's too soft or squishy, it's likely overripe. Next, we move on to the actual picking. This requires a gentle hand, as raspberries are delicate and can easily be squashed. Hold the berry between your thumb and forefinger, and with a slight twist, it should come away from the vine. It's also important to pick the berries regularly, ideally every few days, to prevent them from becoming overripe. Now, let's talk about how we maintain our organic practices during the harvest. It's crucial to avoid the use of synthetic pesticides or fertilizers. Instead, opt for natural pest deterrents and organic compost to nourish your plants. This not only keeps your raspberries truly organic, but also helps to preserve the health of your soil and the surrounding environment. Preserving the harvest is another key point. To keep your raspberries fresh for as long as possible, refrigerate them immediately after picking. You can also freeze your raspberries for longer storage, but remember to wash and thoroughly dry them before doing so. Finally, let's touch on post-harvest care. After your last harvest of the season, prune your raspberry bushes back. This helps to keep the plants healthy and promotes better fruit production for the following year. In summary, harvesting organic raspberries involves careful timing, gentle handling, and adherence to organic farming practices. It also includes proper storage and post-harvest care to ensure the longevity of your yield and the health of your plants. Remember, patience and care are crucial to a successful raspberry harvest. Now, let's revisit the crucial steps of winter preparation for your garden. Winter may seem like a time for rest, but it's also a time for preparation. As the world outside slows down, your garden needs you more than ever. The first step is a good cleanup clear away fallen leaves, dead plants, and any garden debris. This helps prevent diseases from overwintering in your garden and gives you a fresh start in the spring. Next comes soil enrichment. The winter months are an excellent time to add organic matter to your soil. Compost, well-rotted manure, or leaf mold can be spread over the surface of your garden beds. Over time, these materials will break down, releasing nutrients into the soil and improving its structure. This will provide a rich, fertile environment for your plants to thrive in when spring rolls around. Now, let's talk about plant protection. Winter can be tough on plants, especially perennials and young saplings. There are several ways to shield your plants from the harsh elements. Mulching is a common method, providing a protective layer over the soil that helps regulate temperature and retain moisture. You can also use burlap wraps for delicate shrubs or construct a simple windbreak to shield your garden from icy blasts. Remember, winter is not a time for your garden to hibernate, but rather a time for it to rejuvenate. Plants may appear dormant, but there's a lot happening beneath the surface. The energy they store now will fuel their growth in the coming spring. So, don't let the winter months catch you off guard. With a little preparation, you can ensure your garden remains healthy and ready to burst into life at the first signs of spring. After all, a little effort now can lead to a bountiful harvest later. With these steps, your garden will be ready to face the winter and bloom again in the spring.